Hi guys, this is Michelle Young Cho and I'm at the East West Players opening night for Steel Magnolias. And right next to me is Patty Yasutake. Hi Patty, how are you? I'm great. We just had opening night and so we're all celebrating. So Patty, could you tell us a little bit about your character? Well, I play Malin, who is the mother of Shelby, and she is the I suppose some people call it, you know, the heart of the story, so to speak, because it's the mother trying to care for the daughter and yet also help her become her own woman and live a full life. And yes, she does have um, some medical issues that require attention, but it's all about how to get through a lot of these kinds of obstacles that life throws in your way, even when they're major and serious. And really it takes place in Truvy's Beauty Shop where the women can come and find sort of their voice, um, their, their sort of way to have someone to lean on that understands what they're going through from a woman's point of view, that maybe especially because we've grounded this in the 80s in the South and in the reality that there are Asians there. So of course we would find our sanctuary, our refuge within the beauty shop with other women because out there we would be dealing with a lot of other issues in terms of protocol and getting through life and all of those those things so it's, it's how to survive all that so I still hear a southern accent and I'm wondering <laughs> is that your natural accent no it's not my natural accent but in order to <laughs> in order to try to portray the southern women in this show we've certainly been doing a lot of work on um, sort of the source of, of where the accent comes from in terms of that region and in, and everybody's got perhaps different takes on the accent because we're also bringing our own cultures into that and for example the Weezer character that Karen Hughes plays you know is very much rooted in her Chinese roots and that also historically is really well supported in terms of there's a couple of us who have Japanese American backgrounds and Given that the camps were like there was in Arkansas, um, in fact, my, some of my relatives were in Roar, then there are Asians in the South that people just don't know about that would have adopted, if they were going to stay down there, a lot of the culture. And in my case, would have intermarried even because mm -hmm. my daughter Shelby, um, played by Ruth, is biracial. And so you already, even though you never see the men, you do get an idea of who these men are. And the minute, and the minute I saw who they had cast as, as my daughter, then I said, oh, yes, of course, we know that she's tall and gorgeous. And so, of course, my husband would be even taller and from that area. So... A lot of those things were kind of fun to piece together as we were putting the, the play together. Come out to East West Players because it opened tonight and it'll be till October 6th.